It is the Backyard Blues, a brand new track, the title track from Joe Lewis Walker's brand new album, Hellfire. He is going to be taking the stage this coming Friday night, Centennial Park, the Sunshine Blues Festival. Really looking forward to this show. We've been talking about it all show long. And don't forget, sunshinebluesfestival.com if you want to still get tickets and uh, walk up. Always welcome at Centennial Park. Going to the phone, and I'm very excited about this. I didn't tease it the whole show because you never know what happens with these uh, guys when they're on the road. But I'm excited to welcome to the Backyard Blues, Derek Trucks. How are you, buddy? I'm good, man. Hey, thanks so much for uh, for putting this together, man. Uh, you know, I know you're a Florida guy, but this is probably the biggest blues festival that has uh, that Fort Myers has seen ever. I think. So uh, you know, uh, you know, we, we're excited to. Uh to be a part of it. I mean, we got uh, when we got contacted about um, the festival, and they actually asked for some of our input on on bands that we'd like to play with, and it, it's uh, you know something that's fun to be a part of for sure. You know, we just had a couple weeks ago um, your former bass player Todd Smalley was here with uh, JJ Gray. Now, ha- what happened, man? He's your fishing buddy, and you don't have JJ Gray on. <laughs> Right. You know, I, I, I saw Todd the night before. He was up here in Jacksonville. They played. Uh, they played in Jacksonville. Um, just a, I, I guess a day or so before he was down there. Todd, Todd's a good man. He's a great player, and uh, it, w- it was good to see him and catch up. Do you get time to catch up with any of the uh, the old uh, DTB members? I mean, uh, you know, Rico Scott. You ever check in with him, or are you, uh, are you pretty busy? Oh yeah, I mean, it's you know, with, with touring bands, it's a small world out there. So you. Uh, we definitely get to run into each other on the road quite a bit. Um, you know, I mean, we, we spent a good 15, 16 years together, so uh, um, it's, it's always great great to see each other. There's, there's plenty to talk about. <laughs> That's for sure, man. And you grew up, you know, being a family man, and, uh, and I'm sure you treat these guys just like family, just like you do the guys that you got playing with you now. Absolutely. I mean, they're, they're very much part of the family. Um, you know, for all of our kids grew up together, and... Uh, you know, it's it's always great when uh, when we can uh, reconnect. Man, congrats! You've had you've had a great year, man. 2012 was pretty good for you. Picked up a Grammy and all kind of other awards, the Gibson uh, the Gibson Award, and and I mean, you know, you, you've been doing this a while, Derek. I mean, you know, so did any of this come as a surprise to you at all, or is everything always new and exciting for you? You know, I, I got to say the the way that. Uh, that my career and the band's career is built has been really slow and steady and and kind of natural. So it makes you uh, it makes you appreciate it every step of the way. I mean, we we certainly don't uh, take any of those things for granted. I mean, you don't we don't make music to uh, to win trophies or <laughs> to win yeah. a Grammy. That's not the right. the point. But it it's uh, you know it, it's nice validation uh, occasionally when stuff like that happens. And it it's for, really it's just more fuel for the fire. But uh, it's definitely been an amazing year. I mean, we we had high hopes when we put this group together. Um, you know, the group with my wife and an eleven-piece band. Um, but it, it's uh, the last year has certainly exceeded what we had even hoped for. What was it like uh, playing at the White House, man? I mean, that's got to be one of those moments where you're like, "Are are you serious? I'm playing at the White House for the president." I mean, what yeah. Was I mean, it, you know, the the fact that you're at the White House playing for. Uh, the president is amazing, and then when you look over and you see BB King and Buddy Guy and Booker T and Jeff Beck and Mick Jagger, it just makes it that much more surreal. And you know, my kids got to be there. My mom. It was a a, a pretty amazing few days. Yeah, that's got to be a pretty proud moment, you know, for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it certainly certainly things you don't expect to happen in your in your lifetime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so be- we've. Uh, We've been scratching things off the bucket list this year. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I, what, what's still on? A little on? exhausting, I gotta say. <laughs> what's still on the list? Uh, if you, do you, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're probably kidding a little bit about that, but what, it, what, what was, what would Derek Trucks want to still want to do? I mean, what do you still got to check off of that list? You know, I, I, I think there's something that that drives you as a as an artist or as a musician to. You're kind of always looking forward to that the next project, and you, you know, you you want to make. You want to make an album, or you want to make music that's just that's going to be here for a long, long time. So I feel like every time you're like we're we're getting ready to cut a record this month, and um, I, I feel like you, you put a lot of weight on those things. You you know you want to be able to to make a record that's going to stand up with with some of your favorite records of all time. And I, I think there's been there's been times there's been songs we 
we've cut or written, and there's been records we've made that you feel like you 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 maybe get close to that mark, but I, you're, you're always always trying to push it a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did a, a great job with this past album, that's for sure, man. And uh, you're, uh, you, do you get home? How much time do you get to spend in Jacksonville? I mean, wh- you're on the road a lot, and are you recording the new album in your home studio? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we travel quite a bit, but have, having the studio here is, uh, has certainly changed things for the better. You know, we get to be at home a lot more. I mean, we're, when we're writing and rehearsing and doing pre-production for a record or cutting a record or mixing a record, um, that's all time that before I had to spend on the road in some random city where now it's uh, now it's at home in your backyard. And uh, so you know it, it's been great for the family. It's been great. Um, you know, wake up in the morning, take your kids to school, and then go to work. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. It's it's, uh, it's almost normal. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Except for the fact that uh, I still stay on the studio till all hours. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's not quite normal. You got a uh, guitar in your little boy's hand yet? You know, I I, I gave him an SG this year for Christmas. So, cool. Uh, he's uh, I, I think I was ten when I got my first SG. So we'll we'll see how that goes. He's, yeah, that's he's, cool. Uh, he's he's sharp, man. He's he he takes the things pretty quickly. But w- with anything, it's you, you got to really have that desire and <clears throat> and it's got to it's got to click. And uh, so far, so good. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty great getting to. But my daughter plays and sings a little bit, and there's nothing quite like uh, playing music with your kids. Yeah, that is. That is. That's amazing, man. Good for you. You know, I was that was kind of one of the things I was leading to. I got a little four-year-old, and, uh, and, and I just can't imagine, you know, um, what you go through. It, you know, more of being a, a husband and wife um, combination on the road. Now, my wife makes me sleep on a couch. Now, you're stuck on a bus. Where do you sleep if you, <laughs> you, know, if you get in trouble? Well, you know... Uh, I mean, this band, it's 11 pieces uh, with crew. It's 20-something people on the road. So we have two tour buses. So if, if, if it gets really hairy, I can always <laughs> hop over to the, uh, to the blue bus. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. What's a, uh, this is a great lineup that you got for this, man. Walter Trout and, uh, and Sonny Landreth. I know you're no, uh, you're no stranger to these guys. You've been playing Wani Festival with all of them and, and everything for years. Um, are you, you, you are playing Wani again this year, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, you know that that thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better and better. That the the lineup every year is is pretty stellar. Yeah, I, it would be hard to top last year. That was pretty amazing last year, man. I, yeah, I had absolutely. A, I had a great time up there. But this is kind of a little mini Wani right down here next Friday night, uh, Centennial Park. Have you ever been to Fort Myers before? I know we're uh, we're down here on the on the tail end uh, tip of Florida. Uh, have you been to this actual city before? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, when, when I was uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years old, um, I was touring uh, Florida pretty exclusively. So, um, you know, we hit we hit every spot that would have us. <laughs> Very <laughs> so, cool. Um, I I think we actually did a, a small outdoor festival there. I mean, it must have been mid nineties. Um, but yeah, we we've definitely uh, been through there quite a few times. Well, this is going to be cool, man. And uh, and you know. Uh, Live Nation's really behind this thing, and it seems like this is going to be something like Wani that gets bigger and better every year. Because they, uh, you're talking about doing this again next year, right? Already, right out of the. You know, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, in, anytime you get to uh, play on a festival with with bands that you would personally pay to see is uh, a pretty exciting thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for- I'd, I'd love to see it. Uh, you know, get get some momentum and, and take flight, but. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I have learned along the way that uh, it's, it's better not to pr- try to predict these things. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. got to roll with it. Hey, let me ask you one last question before I let you go, man. Uh, all these festival shows, and you have played some of the biggest ones, and, uh, and don't think too hard about this. What is your favorite festival show memory of all? You know, that, that just comes right to the top of your head. You know, the, the first Crossroads we did with, uh, with Clapton in Chicago was, was a pretty amazing um, culmination of that year, you know, I was I was playing in his band at the time. My band uh, got a spot on on that festival, and my wife was there, and she sat in, and um, getting to play with Steve Winwood and Eric was pretty amazing. Um, that that sticks out. Um, there's a great festival in Australia called Byron Bay Blues Festival that's uh, pretty amazing. And and one more I have to mention is uh, Jazz Festival. Um, just <clears throat> legendary shows been put on there, and the Quad Knobs who who uh, 
spearheaded that and, and ran it. Uh, he just passed away, I believe, today or yesterday. So that oh, that's a that's an amazing amazing festival. And he he was uh, he was right at the forefront of he filmed every show that was ever played there, going back to the '70s. It's uh, uh, he he put together a, an amazing archive of some of the greatest shows that have ever been played. So those uh, it, that place really sticks out. Yeah, that's great, man. Thank you. Derek, thank you so much for your time today, man. We really look forward to seeing you next Friday night, Centennial Park Sunshine Blues Festival. And and uh, you have a new title now, man. I got to say, the Grammy Award winning Derek Trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> take a minute to get used to. <laughs> you, hey, are you uh, real quick? Are you a sports fan? You're up in Jacksonville. You uh, you a football fan, NFL fan, anything like that? You or do you not have? Yeah, time? man, Li- lifelong baseball, football fan. Um, we've been season ticket holders. With the with the Jags since uh, ninety five ninety six so uh, all right I'm gonna we've, get you we've been here through thick and thin a, a lot of thin lately but um, <laughs> I'm I'm excited about uh, that Shad Khan is uh, he seems like a pretty sharp character <laughs> yeah he might be able to clean that organization up now give me I, a, I think he will man I, I actually have a uh, hope well, you know when you're two and fourteen you're, uh, you you're you're hopefully scraping bottom and looking up so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hang my hat on that. Your two teams that are going to be in the Super Bowl this year, who do you think they're going to be? Man, it's tough. When the 49ers are clicking, they look pretty hard to beat. Um, I mean, you got to you got to think that uh, Brady or Manning is going to be there. Um, yeah. I, I think that's the – I think Manning, Brady, in the AFC Championship is probably going to be as good as the Super Bowl if that comes together. I but, agree. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a good it's a good playoff run this time. There you go. All right, man. We'll get back at it, and we will see you next Friday night, Derek Trucks, TTB. All right, man. All right. Talk to you later. Great, man. Thank you. Bye bye. <coughs>